the uh, demography of happiness. And in this study, the government found out that uh, young people are happier than old people. <laughs> They found out that people that earn more are happier than people that earn less. <laughs> and they found out that well people are happier than sick people. That's good. Well, that's uh, glad this to was $249,000 to find out it's better to be rich, young, and healthy than old, poor, and sick. <laughs> now that is funny. And true. That's what it used to be like. I'm sure many of you may remember that, but Hollywood has left the business of entertaining us for left-wing lectures like how the coastal elites are better than you and me, mocking middle America. The humor is now vicious political propaganda meant to disparage half of America, like so-called comedian Wanda Sykes telling red states to know our place. The problem is that middle stuff. It's, it's those states in the middle. That, that, that red stuff. Mm -hmm. why, why do they get to tell us what to do when the majority of us live out, you know, New York, California, and we're paying for all this crap, really? I mean, right? <laughs> if I'm fitting the bill, know your position. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you, know, you know, for real. That's, that's supposed to be funny, and who was laughing? Was that fake? Was that laugh track? What a difference in late night television, the tell you to your face, you're the problem, conservatives. You don't have a say in their vision of America. Just shut your mouth, fall in line, says Hollywood. The elitist Democrat mentality. And what else do they do? They fear monger. The country, it's no longer a democracy, right? I mean, we're, it's no longer majority rule. No, certainly no, not right? in the Senate. No longer a democracy, majority rule. This is, in fact, a constitutional republic, Wanda, with limits placed on government, protecting minority rights. And thank God for that, because with people like you, her, in power, it would be tyranny of the majority. This isn't comedy. It's Democrat propaganda, state-run TV. So while they're losing face with the American people, they bring on people like Wanda Sykes and AOC to fight the information war for them. Uh, Franklin Delano Roosevelt's uh, attempt to, to restore the country during the Great Depression. What we saw was an overreach um, from the Supreme Court attempting to, to prevent us from passing these laws. And Franklin Delano Roosevelt threatened to expand the court. The, the fear of the court's power being minimized caused them to back off their overreach and abuse of power. Uh, just too much, just too much to handle. When Democrats lose, they throw tantrums like spoiled children, like AOC, threatening to pack the court. So now they look to delegitimize the court, forcing judges to change a position under threat. She has no idea what she's talking about, poor thing. And then what happens when Republicans get in power? It'd be a never-ending court packing. No one wins. We all would lose. But that's the point. The left wants to burn it all down. We just need a fight. We need a fight. And we need to show and demonstrate to the American people that then when they vote to give Democrats power, we oh. will use it to the fullest extent oh. possible to oh. defend everybody's civil, economic, and human rights. We need to fight to give Democrats power. Did you hear it? That's the dirty little secret. She said the quiet part out loud. Power, perfectly summing up the left's position. They'll maximize power to impose their vision at all costs, even if it means trampling over half of the country. This is tyranny, and they will beat you into submission because that's liberal, the compassionate thing to do. I would show you how Colbert asked her if she'd run for president, but no one really cares. It's all junk TV after all, and it's not funny. Mm -hmm.